Hi guys, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Let us just say a quick blessing and we'll find out what it's all about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty, I'm gonna start us with this artist's inner vision tarot and find out what's going on for today. Happy Thursday. All right, I got the two of cups. You're crazy, I love it. Um, so this is a soulmate relationship that's coming towards you, whoever you are. Two of cups is one of the soulmate cards we have in the deck. I think that there's about six of them. You know, Some people vary as to what they think, but the two of cups is about a partnership coming in. This can be um, a romantic partnership. This can be a friendship. Let's find out more. Ooh, I got the Eight of Swords. This is somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Um, this may have been someone that you had a separation from. Maybe you took some time off from one another. The Eight of Swords is about restriction. It can be about um, not talking to someone for a while. It's the energy um, these days in the modern world. It can be about digital blocking or something like that. This is somebody who you haven't talked to in a while or something like that. This is somebody coming back towards you. This is somebody who sat with their thoughts and their feelings for a while and they've made some changes as to how they think about things or perhaps this is you, perhaps you're rethinking a connection in some way and wanting to um, start communicating with this person again. It's just, it kind of depends on um, which role you choose to embody within these stories if they do in fact sound like your readings. Oh, that's too many, hold on. Now I got the Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, ooh, um, Six of Swords in the reverse is somebody who felt like they couldn't move forward in a relationship for whatever reason. This is somebody from your past coming back around in some way. This is somebody who um, hasn't you haven't been able to move on from in some way. This is somebody who has occupied your thoughts or you've occupied their thoughts for a long time. Um, it feels like you guys took some time off from one another in some way to kind of reassess how you were feeling about perhaps the relationship. I have the Nine of Cups. That's such a good sign. Um, Nine of Cups is uh, all about wish fulfillment. I always call it the minor arcana of the star card. Um, the Nine of Cups is about three-dimensional wish fulfillment. This is kind of like your birthday candle wish that comes true. Who to thunk it, right? It can be about unexpected blessings. It can be about um, having so much abundance. It just kind of shocks you. This is somebody who has a tremendous amount of love for you or you have a tremendous amount of love for them. And it looks like you haven't been talking to one another for some time. That's too many, hold on. Let me just get a couple more out with this deck and then I'll clarify with another one. I've got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here was sitting and waiting to see what was gonna happen with this situation. I feel like they were sitting and waiting, trying to decide, or you were sitting and waiting, trying to decide what your feelings were for this, this person. In the meantime, it feels like those feelings grew. In this time of separation, the love for this person that you had or the love they had for you just grew and grew and grew to the point that now somebody wants to come back and start talking about it. It was one of those energies of let's take a break, let's take a break from this situation, reassess later, or I don't even know if that was a conversation that had but this is something that was going on in your head or their head and it feels like over time this person has missed you and missed you and missed you and it feels like they waited and they waited to see if there was going to be any kind of a change and while this while they were waiting in this state of separation the feelings just grew and grew and grew mm. And I have the Hierophant card that comes out with that. That's a card of marriage. It's a card of traditional values. It's the card of Taurus. Um, this is somebody who wants to come in and offer you some kind of a commitment, some kind of stability in your life. Um, this could be someone who has had a, um, I don't know, a lot of clarity come in over the last few months and perhaps now you or they see that you wanna put down roots with this person. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna clarify with this Tarot of Wonderland. 
and see if I can get a little bit more information here. I got the chariot on one side and the eight of swords on the other. The chariot is about change. The chariot is about moving forward. It's a very similar energy to this six of swords. Six of swords is about moving on from something mentally. We had it in the reverse at the beginning of this reading, which indicates that someone hasn't been able to let your memory go in some way. And this chariot says it's full steam ahead. It's time to go. It's time to move forward with this. It's time to take action in some way. And when we have the um, Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is somebody who wants to come out of restriction. They want to start talking again. Again, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. I love it when you give me repeat cards. You know I do. Um, it just tells me that you're very clear in your mind as to how you feel. With that Eight of Swords out there twice, this tells me you simply have not been talking to one another. You could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you in some serious way. There could have been some kind of fallout, some kind of argument or something that drove the two of you apart or some other kind of circumstances. I have the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, this is <laughs> The King of Wands in reverse can be a couple of different things. This could be someone who's a little bit prone to bad behavior as far as relationships go. This could be someone who's a little bit promiscuous. This can be someone who doesn't, um, I don't know, it's possible that they could have been seeing other people, but the King of Wands in the reverse is someone who's afraid. They're nervous, they're afraid of commitments, they're afraid of what committing to a relationship would look like. In the past, this is how they were feeling, and this is maybe what kept you two apart. Mm, this may be your energy. Someone who was a little bit afraid of what this connection could mean. I have the death card. There's been a major transformation and a major change in this situation. It feels almost like they had to maybe end one thing in order to, to um, start communicating with you again or vice versa. The death card is the card of Scorpio and it's a pretty heavy ending. It's a pretty major change. The death card is about painful transformation that is necessary for growth. Good job. Um, it's not always easy to get through this person or you may have been through a lot and you may have had to recently end another relationship that allows this other soulmate to come forward in your life in some way. Tell me about this eight of swords. I got the nine of swords. Oh man, you're not kidding. So the nine of swords, that can be about anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, tossing and turning, not being sure what to do, feeling like there's something nagging at you. And it's just like in the pit of your stomach, just feeling like you need to reach out. You need to say something. It could have been that this person or you went through a, a lot of trauma or a lot of distress. And that was keeping the two of you apart. Some kind of nightmarish situation. That's pretty heavy to be honest. Um, and that's why you weren't talking in some way. It feels like trauma. And I have the Nine of Pentacles. Good job. Um, we got a couple of nines out here. We got the Nine of Cups. We got the Nine of Pentacles. This tells me that somebody has just about finished up a cycle. Tens are cycles of completion. Whenever we are at the nines, it's like she'll be coming around the, around the mountain, right? This Nine of Pentacles is an energy of singleness. This person who's coming back towards you is now single. They could be newly single. You could be newly single. Who knows? Um, but the Nine of Pentacles is someone who's highly independent. And they've stripped themselves of a lot of previous codependencies that could have also been perhaps keeping the two of you apart codependencies can look like a lot of different things they can look like addictions they can look like um other relationships they can look like things that someone was having trouble letting go of in the past it feels like this person's cleared away for the two of you to be together now in whatever way and i've got the fool card that comes out with that good job fool card's about a brand new beginning fool card the fool card is the number zero in the major arcana and it's it indicates a brand new start a fresh start let's start over let's take this leap let's go mm, i like it And I got the strength card out. This feels very similar to a reading I did yesterday, actually. You may wanna hop over and watch yesterday's daily reading. Um, I could be picking up on a storyline of someone who's just about to fall to fall in love all over again with someone from their past. Um, this strength card is the card of Leo, but it's someone who's been through a lot. They've been through a lot of dark times and it feels like they wanna come forward, they wanna to talk to you about it or you wanna to talk to them about it. Again, decide which side of the coin you're on here. I've got the six of wands in reverse. This is someone who doesn't feel like it's home without you and they wanna make sure that they're making the right choices with this knight of pentacles that comes out. Um, this is someone who's a little bit unsure of what you're gonna say about this or you may be unsure of what they're gonna say about this when you approach them or when they approach you. Um, the six of wands can be someone who is 
nervous about whether or not they're going to be received well, whether or not they're going to be victorious in this. This Knight of Pentacles is someone who's nervous and they want to make sure they do things the right way this time. And in the past with this King of Wands and the reverse energy, which is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but don't get hung up on the Zodiac signs. I only call them out in case they may be of significance to your circumstances. Um, in the past, this person was lacking in bravery. They weren't sure that they could do it. They weren't sure that they could leave behind whatever these other codependencies were in their lives. It feels like they done it at this point and now they're ready to come forward they're ready to offer you something that is a stable commitment which we see here with this hierophant as well as with this knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is virgo taurus capricorn energy and the hierophant is also the card of taurus um but this knight of pentacles he's the slowest moving knight in the deck he can be um almost obnoxiously cautious. Somebody who wants to definitely cross all the T's and dot all the I's and again is very concerned that they do things the right way this time and have the hanged man that comes out. Oh man. So the hangman is the card of Pisces. You got quite a bit of major arcana on here. This tells me this is a fairly significant relationship in addition to pulling the two of um, cups for the first card. The first card is always the strongest card, strongest indicator of the emotions behind a circumstance. And this hanged man is someone who has waited and they've waited and they've waited for the timing to, to work out. Um, this hanged man could be someone who was waiting maybe on you to make the first move or you to make the first contact. Hmm. The hangman can also be someone who's waiting for divine inspiration. Again, waiting for the timing to be right. It feels like now is the time, especially with that fool card. It's like taking a leap of faith, like jumping down a rabbit hole, something that could be a little bit scary, right? A little bit nerve wracking to this king of wands in the reverse. This is somebody who wasn't ready before. It feels like they are now. have the four of cups they're lonely and they're lost without you but here's the deal you don't see this coming you don't um this is going to be a surprise to you whoever you are with this four of cups there's someone that's sneaking up right behind you it's this person and they want to offer you some kind of love some kind of kindness some kind of affection this is definitely um someone who wants to offer you this ace of cups back here now when you're focused on your other things doing other things with other people or just focused on your work or whatever it is um this person's sneaking up in the background Mm -hmm. Just expect it. Expect the 